There are very few people of color as statues in this country and quite frankly in Europe in general. So that's where I'm coming from with this. I, I'm making the decisions and I, I'm deciding to address that. But it's become something more than just about a statue. It's become something mythic for me, you know. What it's developed into is the idea of, of ambassadors from some sort of parallel universe or some sort of empire which has been and gone or is yet to come. And they're heading out from their empires to do their ambassadorial duties, but they're carrying their history with them. They're designed to be examined and re-examined and viewed over and over again because I like plenty of details. I hope they're interesting enough for you to speculate on which civilization, past or future or present, they may come from. How Do You Want Me series is a series of huge photos, life-size photos, of me taking on various personas. How Do You Want Me refers to something I was dealing with back at the time I was making this work. It's about the voracious desire of the art world for the latest exotic thing. It was my way of saying, well, how do you want me? I mean, I, I can do this, you know, I, I can be your exotic turn, you know. So it's making it sound jokey, but it's not a joke, you know. It was, it was quite a serious thing. There's lots of royal insignia, uh, coats of arms, and this came from an obsession with symbols of nationhood. But more than that, it's referring to ideas of the state, of state and ceremony, and it refers to ideas of a power. It's also about messing around with all this cheap tat, but trying to elevate it up to something much higher than this. I just love the tactile nature materials and I'm meticulously obsessed about how the difference in feel between this material and that material and also by, by colour. Um, Albion, for example, is wearing a bright lemon yellow feather boa and for me that holds the whole thing together in this sort of erratic line. When I bought that feather boa, when I buy silk flowers and stuff like that, I'm buying on colour. It's three-dimensional pieces of paint for me, that's how it works. This work is existing for me in a Caribbean environment. And um, I come here and I sit down and I look around me. I'm like, right, fine. I mean, not exactly pull out the sun umbrellas because we're in the, we're in the shade, seriously, but, but I feel quite comfortable in this room with, with the imagery on the walls. I'm sitting down in this room right now and thinking, boy, I want to go back to Guyana, boy. You know, I, I, I could do with a trip down there. Because if I don't go to Guyana every, every three years or so, I feel disconnected from my origins, some of my main inspirations. And that's what this room is, basically, you know. <laughs>